Mavic Pro. The new one actually just came out, so I'm doing this review a little too late. Actually, not late at all because I got my Mavic Pro like I think a month back, and I didn't know that there was a new one coming out. I did some research, not a big deal, it's just quieter or some shit like that. I'll let you guys see the specifics, literally everything is the same. The camera, the gimbal, the literally everything. Everything is the same. You would think that if they came out with a newer version, that it would be like the better camera quality or better gimbal, like smooth or whatever it is. Literally everything is the same. There's like a couple things that are different, but I know for sure it's quieter and the batteries last longer. Let's get right into it. Come to two boxes, fly more package. I would recommend getting the fly more package, no matter what. Regardless of the situation, spend the $200 extra, buy the fly more package, come to two boxes. Literally, I got this one at Best Buy. No price match anywhere. I know Mavic, uh, DJI had it on special or on sale for $12.99 flat. So Best Buy hooked it up, $12.99 flat. They do a great job, employees are great. Come with a whole bunch of boxes, like boxes you don't really need. Boxes for batteries, boxes for propellers. Oh, these are the propellers. Sweet, I was gonna buy some more because I crashed it. Wasn't on purpose, but more boxes. Charger for the car, more boxes. Regardless, boxes, boxes, on boxes. This is the main event right here, guys, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing in there because I actually did not buy the thing. I just got the box to do a review on it. Just kidding, totally kidding. Uh, more boxes are in here. But if you do get the fly more package, you get like two of these little sets. These are the folding propellers. I totally forgot I had them. But I think it's, yeah, it's a set of two. So you get, um, so you get two pairs. This is a single pair and I have two boxes of those. And then to the good part, this is the Mavic Pro itself. Look how small it is. It is beautiful. And uh, these blades that I have on here, this is the little gimbal. As you can tell, it has a case for it, which is kind of cool. Be careful when you take this this uh, safety harness off because it is like it roams freely. So just be careful with that. Also, first things first, when you do open it up, be gentle with it because it is it has long arms, so it is a little fragile. The ones in the back do not open to the side like the ones in the front do, just like that. They do not do that. They actually open down. And there is a little sign that says, caution, unfold the rear arms downwards. So you gotta go down to put these back. Be careful with that, just because, like I said, if you try yanking it to the side, you're gonna break it, like, even before you fly it. There's a couple procedures that you must know beforehand. Register this because it is uh, more than 0.5 pounds. You have to register it to, uh, I forgot the website, F... I'm checking. Okay, so it is the FAA, Federal Aviation Administration. I just did it, it's five bucks for three years. Better safe than sorry, you know, just register just in case they ask you if it's registered, it already is. And also you have to, once you go on the DJI app, it is really cool because, let me show you the controller. This, I'm gonna set up everything right now. Drone, battery, 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 charging port, charger, car charger, the remote. So everything you see here comes in the Fly More package. Also the blades that I did mention and keep in mind, you have to make sure you charge the controller too. I really wish, I really do wish that the controller came with a detachable battery just like the Mavic Pro does. These batteries do, they say that they last you up to like, I think, it says 28 minutes, do not quote me on that, but I do get sometimes more flying time, it just depends how you fly it. And there is a sport mode, so sport mode is definitely not gonna last you anywhere damn near 28 minutes. Like sometimes if it's windy, it'll last me like 20 minutes. If there's no wind, I mean if it's windy, it'll last me like 15 minutes, maybe even 10 minutes. And then if there's no wind, it'll last me like 20-ish minutes, give or take. That being said, you have to be careful flying around trees, you can't fly uh, like other people, stuff like that, because this does draw a lot of attention. It is loud. Like I'll start it off for you. I'm not gonna fly it. Do not fly it inside. 
I noticed that there's a lot of interference inside my house. Whatever it is, it's not a good idea. I crashed it inside once and it was kind of bad, but nothing really happened to it. So I wouldn't recommend you flying it inside. So that's what it sounds like. I'm not gonna take it off because if I do take off it is gonna go like all over the place. Aww. So you have to calibrate the compass, which I actually found looking at another YouTube video. So I'm making this in the hopes that if you ever buy a Mavic Pro, and I'm guessing for the Phantom it's similar procedure, you have to go into the app once you connect it to your phone. It comes with a whole bunch of adapters. So I have the C port on my V20, so yeah, it comes with the iPhone one and the regular micro USB. Once you go into the app, it's gonna be loading and it's gonna update. Make sure you always update the drone because there's a crap ton of updates that they do for the no-fly zones and just stuff that makes it better. So obviously compatibility and connection issues, if there is some, they'll fix them right away. So that's kind of cool. It does take a little long for those updates, but do them. So now we got some drone action, some drone footage going on here and this is actually sped up just a tiny bit but the Mavic Pro can reach up to 40 miles an hour in speeds. That being said it just depends on the wind of that particular day and the awesome thing about this is that it comes with a whole bunch of features. We got the follow me, the normal mode, the waypoints, home lock and the point of interest but you're, what you are watching now is some of the effects that come preset on the Mavic Pro. I took a video of the lake and some trees and buildings in the background and went through each and every single filter. There's about 12 or 13 of them including black and white, cool, warm, blockbuster, D-log and there's uh, other ones that I don't really recall. But talking about the intelligent flight modes, you got the normal mode which I would recommend for people who have not flown a drone before to use the beginner mode. That being said, what that does is that there is a certain limit that you can go um, in distance and it drastically slows down the speed of the drone. That way if the, anything picks up from the sensors, it will just stop and it won't crash, won't crash it. And then you got the more sophisticated like the follow me which is an awesome feature because once you set and it doesn't even have to be a person it can be a car or another object and it will follow you which is really really cool. You got to be careful with all of these flight modes because no matter how awesome these are they are machines and they the sensors could fail so do not rely on the sensors but the sensors are relatively good. Course lock, course lock, what that means is that you can go forward and backwards in one current path. This allows easy navigation if you're flying next to a moving object or across a scene. Waypoints are also really cool because you can set multiple GPS points, they're like check marks, where you, the aircraft will automatically fly to them while you focus on your controlling, while you are controlling the camera. So it does the flight while you control the camera which is pretty cool if you're trying to get cool scenery you don't have to worry about where to go you just have to worry about where to point the camera home lock pretty self-explanatory literally locks on home it's a fixed controls to your home point if you go forward it'll go closer to your to the home point and if you push backwards it will fly further away no matter which way it is facing point of interest is actually one of them that I tried and it's really cool it makes it look really cinematic it sets a specific build you can set a specific building or location as one of the points of interest and the aircraft will continuously circle around it while it records the perfect photo or video so it will literally just make a circle around you so it does come with a lot of cool features and effects that are endless and you can do so much with whatever drone you have if it's the spark the mavic the phantom the inspire which is more money but that being said not only are they fun to record but they're also fun to fly always remember to be careful and be considerate of other people because this does draw a lot of attention like I've mentioned before so just be careful when you're flying it and 
follow the rules don't be a jerk about it like don't try to show off because that is when you are gonna fuck up <laughs> that being said i have the mavic pro and the new mavic platinum edition is the new one that just came out and the only two things that they improved on is it is quieter in flight mode and in addition it lasts up to three minutes longer in its battery life you can use the mavic pro's batteries on the mavic pro platinum edition but i don't think it's definitely worth the 100 or 200 extra dollars if you already have the mavic pro you're pretty much in the safe zone because the gimbal is the same everything is the same about the camera literally the dimensions are the same the three axis gimbal the video record camera 4k specs frames per second everything is the same except two things which are the quieter fly quieter flight and the longer flight time that being said ladies and gentlemen if you want a video in more specific terms and conditions more specs on these mavic pros or any other comment down below what you guys want to watch next so with the cool thing about this i believe i've stated this before you can use just the controller to fly it turn it on turn it off pretty basic stuff but if you do not know your surround surrounding very very well definitely definitely would recommend you to use your phone because that shows and it will display where you are and where you are going also if you're trying to you're debating on buying the Mavic Pro or the Spark or the Phantom 4 I have personally not flown the Phantom but I have seen reviews and videos the difference of image quality is a little noticeable you really do have to like raw image is a little bit noticeable but once you like edit it and stuff I believe that you can make it somewhat comparable it's not a huge 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 difference it obviously isn't but you are risking camera quality with this one but at the same time look how tiny it is this is like the remote size pretty much and also when you put this protector on for the gimbal tilt it forward a little bit actually I'm right handed so I can't do it that way tilt it forward make sure the gimbal is nice and loose don't force it in there just kind of guide it once it's in you can put the other protection for the gimbal itself it's so the lens doesn't get scratched up and then you're good to go once you got it like this you're good to go but like I was saying about the Mavic definitely buy the fly more package if you're out going and about you can definitely just plug this right in and they'll charge these bad boys up fairly quickly now from the spark and this one and the Mavic or the Phantom 4 obviously you're going from size to medium size to like holy shit you need a full backpack for this one I can fit this one in my camera bag which is really cool because I don't need to have a separate bag for this one image quality is obviously going to be this one's like the mid-range and then the Phantom 4 is the best quality for DJI or for those three drones of DJI they're the same company I would recommend if it is your first time to get this one just because it's small compact and it's fun it really is fun I like flying this a lot whenever I do get the chance I do fly it I have crashed this before the reason being is because in low light the sensors do not work very well and the camera does not work as well as the Phantom 4 Pro this camera would compare it between them two obviously but I try flying this in broad daylight or mid afternoon sunset it still does pretty good once the sun definitely goes away it's a little hard to get good quality usable image as you say as I would say but definitely fly more with this package for sure for sure once one battery goes you got two extra to go this is George's Frequency Mavic Pro Review, and as always, remember, I fly yeah. my own rate, and stay frequent. Yeah. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I came up, same stuff, never changed up, taking shots, get your aim up, yeah. wanna play, get your game up, and I see you hating, so you know I gotta ask, you mad bro?